to the bill being discussed, and I have pleasure in commending it to the House, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker. Kieran McAnulty. Madam Speaker, it is an absolute delight to rise to speak in favour of the Gore District Council Otama Rural Water Supply Bill. And I'll tell you one thing, Madam Speaker, just to emphasise... Don't tell, Don't tell me. Tell the House. Tell the House via you, Madam Speaker. Uh, how excited I am and how keen I am to come here. I have left a group of farmers from Makuri and, and um, Pongaroa, the Wider Tararua district in Central Hawke's Bay, in my office. I was hosting for a drink just to come down here and speak to this bill. A group of farmers in a Labour MP's office, they could be up to anything, <laughs> trashing the walls and pulling the pictures down, but this is how much I was keen to come and speak of this, because what this shows, Madam Speaker, is that this is another example of the House getting together in support of something that's important for rural communities. And this particular bill, as a local bill, is one clearly that that community wants. And how good is it to see the House getting behind it? I want to commend the member that is sponsoring this bill in Mark Patterson, New Zealand First Mark Patterson, the locally based MP down in Southland, the community came to him as a staunch advocate for their issues and the, the concerns that they have. And I've witnessed his actions in that electorate first hand, Madam Speaker. He is a tremendous MP, deeply committed to his local community. And this, in fact, is a community that I know well. I've played rugby for Riversdale and cricket for, cricket for Riversdale and rugby for Waikai, just out around this area here, Madam Speaker. And, and it is a community that wants to make sure that they are as self-sufficient as they could possibly be. And this bill is yet another example of that. In ensuring a special process for the transfer of ownership from the Gore District Council to the users of this scheme, this House, in supporting this bill, through the sponsor Mark Patterson, is showing that we are listening to their needs. Of course, as mentioned by previous speakers, because it services more than 200 users, it does require a particular piece of legislation in the House in order for it to happen. But of course, in other areas, water storage and uh, the provision of that in local government uh, can be, as has been mentioned by previous speakers, a contentious issue. So how good is it to see that that is not the case in this one? This bill provides the best long-term solution for what this community needs and the users. And I want to acknowledge the District Council for actually acknowledging how important this was to the area and putting forward a solution to the issue that was presenting itself. Good on them. Not every council would do that. I've worked in local government. I know how frustrating and cumbersome the processes can be in local government, uh, but not in this instance. And I want to acknowledge their foresight in putting forward this option and putting forward a referendum where over three quarters of the people that responded said that they supported this solution. The Gore District Council have demonstrated a core principle of the Labor Party and that is belief in local democracy. Belief in what people say and doing what you can without uh, undermining or just um, jeopardising your values and ensuring that it can happen. And of course, Madam Speaker, this scheme is is typical of many of these types of schemes, the rural agricultural water schemes, where they also supply a domestic source as well. And I think it's marvellous when you think that the way that the scheme started is that farmers and users getting together and getting the scheme off the ground, it's actually quite good to see it going back. I mean, that's a personal opinion. I think the Labor Party would, got, would have got behind this bill because it is a clear message from this community that this is a solution they've come up with it themselves. And if it didn't require legislation through the House, they would have just got on with it. That's how people in Southland do it. But it did require legislation. They brought it through Mark Patterson. He's heard their concerns. He's gone to the meetings. He's put forward as this is an option as a local bill and sponsored it and brought it to the House and everyone's getting behind it. So good on him and good on the people in uh, around Gore and the people at the Gore District Council. I don't roll my eyes, Ruth Dyson. I, I live in Wairarapa. We speak very plainly and clearly. The <laughs> Labor, Madam Speaker, believes in democratic outcomes. It is what the party's founded on. And so it is the absolute privilege for me, on behalf of this government, along with my colleagues in this government, from the Greens, and New Zealand First, 
Reno Titakatane and Liz Craig, the hard-working List MP based in Invercargill, to stand in support of this scheme. It's what the locals want, and how good is it that this House can come together to deliver it? Yeah. Yeah. I call Brett Hudson. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's an absolute pleasure to rise and